everyone. 大家好 Welcome to Mandarin One again. Today topic is about numerals, 数字 You will learn how to say numerals and conversation about numerals. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to identify numbers zero to nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine in Mandarin. Differentiate the use of a and liang. Ask and give telephone number, age, and price in Malaysian currency. Okay, let the counting begin. First of all, you have to know how to say numbers zero to tens in Mandarin. Once you know how to say these basic numbers, the higher numbers won't be difficult for you. Zero is ling. Number one is e, or sometimes we will pronounce as e or e. The number two has two forms in Mandarin, which are er or liang. Three is san. Four is si. Five, wu. Six, liu. Seven is qi. Ba is eight, and jiu is nine. Shi is ten. Let's repeat all the numbers again. Ling, yi, er, san, si, wu, liu, qi, ba, jiu, and shi. This is the differences between e and liang. E is used for counting. For example, 一二三 one two three. Compound numbers. Twenty two is 二十二 Serial numbers such as telephone numbers and ordinal numbers. For example, second is 第二 Liang is usually used to measure word. For the example, I have. Two younger sister, you have to say, 我有两个妹妹。个 is the major word for 妹妹 and we have to use 两 instead of 二。And 两 is used to big number as well, like 百 is hundred. We say 二百 or 两百。千 is thousand. We can say 两千。And one is ten thousand. We can say, "Oh, sorry." Start dari mana? Okay. And one is ten thousand. We say, 两万 Now it's about two-digit numbers. The basic word for two-digit number is 十 which equals ten. For number eleven to nineteen. We use 十 plus a basic single numbers. For example, eleven is 十一 twelve is 十二 thirteen 十三 And for the number twenty, thirty, forty, and so on, we use a basic single numbers plus 十 For example, twenty is 二 Twenty is 二十 thirty is 三十 forty is 四十 For others number, we use a basic multiples of tens and a single numbers. For example, twenty one is 二十一 fifty four is 五十四 seventy three is 七十三 Now. We go to third digit number. The basic word for third digit number is 百 which means hundred. For one hundred, it is 一百 in Mandarin. Three hundred, 三百 One hundred and one, 一百零一 Six hundred and fourteen is 六百一十四 And for four-digit number, the basic word is 千 which means 
thousand. For one thousand, it is mentioned as 一千 in Mandarin. Three thousand and nine is 三千零九 Four thousand five, four thousand five hundred and sixty. Is 四千五百六十 Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine is 九千九百九十九 Please note that if you see zeros between two numbers, you have to add 零 in order to say the whole numbers. For example, one hundred and one is 一百零一 Three thousand and nine is 三千零九 Another one is when number one present between two numbers, such as six hundred and fourteen, we have to say 六百一十四 not 六百十四 Now we move forward to conversation about number. When asking about number, the key phrase is. 几号？几号 ？Which means what's number? Let's see a conversation between Chen Meiling and Wang Qiang. Chen Meiling want to know Wang Qiang's handphone number. She asks, 你的手机号码几号 ？What's your handphone number? 手机 is handphone， 号码 is number. And Wang Qiang reply, 我的手机号码是零一二六三七五一九二 My handphone number is o one two six three seven five one nine two. Please note that serial numbers such as the numbers of telephone, room, identif identification certificate, license plate. Vehicle or the number of a year are read out digit by digit. When asking about age, the key phrase is 几岁几岁 which means how old. Let's see the conversation between Sophia and Wang Qiang. Sophia asks Wang Qiang about his brother's age. She said, "Wang Qiang, your brother is how old?" Wang Qiang, "How old is your younger brother?" Wang Qiang said, "He is eighteen years old." This means he is already eighteen years old. Sophia asked again, "How about your younger sister? Your sister's age?" Wang Qiang responded, "He is only two years old." She is only two years old. Please note that when saying about age, we use 两 not 二 Now come to the conversation about asking price. The key phrase is 多少钱多少钱 means how much. Before we go to the conversation. Let's learn about Malaysian currency. The Malaysian currency ringgit and sen is translated as lingji and sen. The foreign dollars and sen are normally translated as yuan and fen. However, kuai and jiao or mao are more commonly used in spoken Mandarin. One kuai is equal to Ten jiao or mao, and one jiao or mao is equal to ten sen or fen. Is it very difficult to understand? Don't worry. We go to some example. For forty nine ringgit ninety nine sen, informal Mandarin is 四十九零几九十九 sen. But 四十九块九毛九 is more common in spoken Mandarin. An informal currency, forty nine dollar ninety nine cent, is 四十九元九十九分 Let's see another example. Two ringgit fifty cent. Informal Mandarin is 二零几五十 cent. 
but 两块半 is more common to use in spoken Mandarin. Actually, "kuai" is the major word for money, and "ban" here is half. And two dollar fifty cent is 二元五十分 Now we come to the conversation between Ming Fang and the Xiao Fan. Ming Fang go to a fruit store to buy some apples. She said, 先生，请问一个红苹果多少钱 ？Excuse me, how much does a red apple cost? The the hawker answer, 一个七十仙 That means seventy cent each. And Wang Fang want to buy two. She said, 请给我两个 Please give me two. And the hawker said, 一共是一零几四十仙 which means the total is one ringgit forty cent. Then Wang Fang give ten ringgit to the hawker. She said, 这是十零几 Here is ten ringgit. 小贩 said, 谢谢，找你八零几六十仙 Thank you. Here's your eight ringgit and sixty cents change. Before ended the conversation, Xiao Fan said, 下次请再来光顾 which means come again next time. Before we end today's lesson, let's have a quick review for today's vocabulary. 手机，手机 ，handphone or mobile phone. 号码，号码 means number. 才，才 means only. 个，个，个 is a major word. 苹果，苹果 means apple. 给，给 means give. 一共，一共 is total. 下次请再来光顾。下次请再来光顾 means please come again next time. That's all for today's lesson. Bye now. Thank you and 再见。